Hello, today we're going to be discussing the common three-veined goldenrods in Mississippi, how to tell them apart. Now, the easiest one to tell apart is this one, Solidaca tortifolia, because it looks very different from the other two. But what they share in common is that they have predominantly colline leaves, which are leaves along the stem, and those leaves have three veins. I'll pull up a picture of um, tall goldenrod, Solidaca latissima, the, the most common one, to give you an example of what it looks like. It does have basal leaves in winter, but if we go back to some observations from summer, you can see it typically looks like this, with the leaves mostly along the stem. Try to find a good picture. So the characteristics that you can see here, you can see these, these leaves along the stem, you can kind of see there's a, one big mid vein, and then there are two smaller veins flanking it on either side. I'll try to find a better, clearer picture of that. So we see here the one big vein, and then the two smaller veins that are flanking it. Um, and if we look at Solidago gigantea, tall or giant goldenrod, we actually can see the same thing. It's honestly a little bit more prominent. One prominent mid vein flanked by two smaller veins. So then the question is, how do you tell this apart from this? There are a couple of, of ways that once you once you see them it's hard to unsee. First, in giant goldenrod, the stems are kind of waxy. Often they're kind of bluish. And they, if you feel it, they feel smooth and waxy and they don't have any hairs. In tall goldenrod, you can't really see it very well, but as you can see it here, it has little hairs. And these very sp small fine hairs run all the way down the stem. The stem is kind of green, rather than that waxy bluish color, it doesn't feel waxy, and it feels kind of rough to the touch. There are a couple of other ways to tell them apart. If we go here and look at the species page filter by Mississippi, we can look at its bloom time within Mississippi. It blooms from August to November, and sometimes into December, mostly on the coast, and it peaks in October. You know, if we compare that to giant goldenrod, it blooms in July through October, peaking in August. So if you see something, a goldenrod that has the three vein leaves along the stem and it's blooming in July or August, it's probably giant goldenrod as opposed to um, the tall goldenrod. Now there's some other things that you can, other ways you can tell them apart. Tall goldenrod is, prefers dry habitats. Let's see if we can find um, a photo of the type of habitat that it likes. Yeah, so you might see it in a drier field like this. Whereas the giant goldenrod prefers wet habitats. You normally will find it in wet habitats. Sometimes you'll find it in drier habitats, but usually it's, it's wetter. Like for instance, this giant field of giant goldenrod was um, in a floodplain along the creek. There are some other ways to tell them apart. Um, giant goldenrod typically has this very kind of flat inflorescence. So it it looks like it's got one main stalk with stuff coming off the sides. Whereas with um, tall goldenrod, its inflorescence is a little bit more variable. They can be arched off the sides. They can be kind of clustered. Um, they, they often have this more upward habit to them. Although you can see sometimes they're, they're more like that as well. So in, in um, Tall goldenrod, it is pretty variable. And giant goldenrod, you're typically going to see when it is blooming, that kind of 
long lateral branches of the inflor inflorescence. And I do have a photo that should help to illustrate this. I'm going to look at my observations of Solidago, goldenrods. Yeah, so comparing giant goldenrod and tall goldenrod and seed, these are about uh, 10 feet apart. So this is tall goldenrod, um, and this is giant goldenrod. So you can see they do have pretty different inflorescences, and that is can get easier to see when they're in seed. Now, uh, the one last one, Solidago tortifolia. This one's pretty easy because it has usually has these kind of twisty leaves to them. The leaves are also um, smaller, they're thinner. It's harder to see the third vein. You can kind of see it here. And it basically only grows in um, a few parts of Mississippi. So I've seen it in this area, apparently it's in the Black Belt, and apparently it's also down here in, in South Mississippi. Um, I think if I also include, no, okay. I, I've, I've taken some pictures showing how the leaves get really twisty when they're dry, but I haven't uploaded those to a naturalist. But I hope that this has helped and that you're able now to tell apart the, um, uh, the three-veined goldenrods more easily. Thanks for watching.